subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to our interview questions prep series. These questions are for the candidates preparing for cloud security knowledge exam. Question 1. What do you understand by the term cloud security? Cloud security is responsible for providing multiple levels of controls in the network infrastructure, in order to provide protection to the cloud-based applications and websites. As for both public and private cloud, businesses need to balance the DDoS protection, data protection, and regulatory compliance in their cloud security provider. Question 2. Explain the benefits of cloud security. First, cloud security centralizes the applications and data for the protection. Second, with utilizing cloud storage and security, it removes the need to invest in dedicated hardware. Third, the cloud services offer dependability. That is to say, with correct cloud security measures, users can safely access data and applications within the cloud. Question 3. What are the different threats in cloud security? The threats include First, malicious insiders. Second, data breaches. Third, advanced persistent threats. Fourth, insecure application programming interface. Fifth, shared technology issue. Question 4. Explain the cloud security controls. First, risk management. Second, governance. Third, data protection. Fourth, identity and access management. Fifth, compliance. Question 5. Can you explain about CCM? Cloud controls matrix, that is, CCM provides the fundamental security principles to guide cloud vendors and assist the cloud customers in assessing the overall security risk of cloud providers. Question 6. What you think is new about cloud computing security? Cloud security is the fastest growing service by providing functionalities to the IT security sector. Moreover, now cloud security has a new style of delivering security solutions and protecting businesses from thefts, data leakage, and deletion. Question 7. What is cloud security knowledge, that is, CCSK? The CCSK is basically a web-based examination for an individual's competency in key cloud security issues. Moreover, the CCSK is widely known as standard of expertise and is the industry's primary benchmark for measuring cloud security skill sets. Question 8. Why should you obtain CCSK? The CCSK provides an understanding of security issues and best practices over a broad range of cloud computing domains. Moreover, it is applicable to a wide variety of IT and information security jobs in virtually every organization. Question 9. Can you name the latest version of CCSK? The latest CCSK version is CCSK v.4. Question 10. Name some benefits of using cloud computing? First, it has data backup and provides storage of data. Second, it has powerful server capabilities. Third, it has information technology sandboxing capabilities. Fourth, it increases productivity and is cost-effective and time-saving. Question 11. Can you name the major platforms that are used for large-scale cloud computing? The major platforms used for large-scale cloud computing include Apache Hadoop and MapReduce. Firstly, Apache is an open-source platform written in Java for creating a pool of computers with each file system. Secondly, the data elements are clustered and hash algorithms are applied. Lastly, MapReduce is a software built by Google to support distribution and computing. However, it uses a large set of data and various cloud resources and then distributes the data to several other computers known as clusters. Question 12. Describe the security aspects provided with the cloud. First, identity management. It authorizes the application services. Second, access control. In this, the permission is given to the users to control the access of another user who is entering into the cloud environment. Third, authentication and authorization. In this only the user with authorization and authentication are allowed to access the data and applications. Question 13. Explain the security laws implemented for securing data in the cloud. The security laws to secure data in cloud include. First, processing. This controls the data that is being processed correctly in an application. Second, file. This manages and controls the data being manipulated in any of the files. Third, output reconciliation. It is for controlling the data that has to be reconciled from input to output. Fourth, input validation. It controls the input data. Fifth, security and backup. This controls the security breaches logs. 
Question 14. Can you name open source platform databases in cloud computing? The open source cloud computing platform databases include MongoDB, CouchDB, and LucidDB. Question 15. What makes cloud different from the traditional data centers? The major difference is that the traditional data centers are more expensive due to heating and hardware slash software issues. Moreover, the cloud gets scaled when the demand increases. And, the majority of the expenses are spent on the maintenance of the data centers. Question 16. Define cloud architecture? Cloud architecture refers to the combination of components and subcomponents that are required for cloud computing. Question 17. Explain the various ways in which the cloud architecture provides automation and performance transparency. The ways to provide the performance transparency and automation includes many tools that are used by cloud architecture. However, it allows you to manage the cloud architecture and monitor reports. Also, it gives access to share the application using the cloud architecture. Moreover, automation is the key component of cloud architecture which helps to improve the degree of quality. Question 18. What are the various models for deployment in cloud computing? The different deployment models in cloud computing includes First, private cloud Second, public cloud Third, community cloud Fourth, hybrid cloud Question 19. Can you explain the difference between cloud computing and mobile computing? Cloud computing becomes active with the data using the help of the internet, rather than individual devices. Moreover, it provides users with the data which they have to retrieve on demand. Whereas in mobile, the application runs on the remote server, and gives users access for storage, and management. However, mobile computing uses the same concept as cloud computing. Question 20. What benefits users can gain from utility computing? Utility computing gives access to the user to pay only for what they are using. However, it is a plugin managed by an organization that decides what type of services has to be deployed from the cloud. Question 21. How can data be secured for a transport in the cloud? For securing data during transporting them from one place to another, the first thing is to check if there is no leak with the encryption key implemented with the data you are sending. Question 22. Explain the various layers defining the cloud architecture. The different layers used by cloud architecture include First, CLC, or Cloud Controller. Second, Walrus. Third, Cluster Controller. Fourth, SC, or Storage Controller. Fifth, NC, or Node Controller. Question 23. Describe the system integrators in cloud computing. Systems integrator in cloud computing provides the strategy of the complicated process used to design a cloud platform. However, the integrator helps in creating more accurate hybrid and private cloud networks. Question 24. Explain the term eucalyptus. Eucalyptus refers to elastic utility computing architecture for linking your programs to useful systems. Question 25. What is the role of eucalyptus in cloud computing? Eucalyptus refers to an open source software infrastructure in cloud computing that is used for implementing the clusters in cloud computing platforms. Moreover, it helps in building public, hybrid, and private clouds. It also has the ability to produce its own data center into a private cloud, and allows the use of its functionality to many other organizations. Question 26. Explain cloud computing in layman language. This is a computing based on the internet in which, the internet is used to process and deliver the services to the users as and when required. Question 27. Why is there a need to manage workloads in organizations? Workloads are a set of codes, or instructions that can be executed to perform a specific task. An organization is likely to manage these due to the following reasons. First, to know whether the applications are running properly. Second, to know the functions they are performing. Third, to know the changes in the individual department with respect to the service provided. Question 28. Why is the buffer used in cloud services? Buffer makes the systems more efficient against the traffic or load. Moreover, it helps in the synchronization of different components. Also, a buffer helps in maintaining the balance between those components, and also makes them work at the same speed in order to get the work done faster. Question 29. Why is the virtualization platform required for implementing cloud? The requirement of virtualization platform in implementing cloud is for First, managing the service level policies. Second, for cloud operating systems. Third, 
Virtualization platforms help in keeping the backend level and user level concepts different from each other. Question 30. What are the important things to be taken as concerned by users before going for a cloud computing platform? The essential things before moving towards cloud platform includes First, compliance Second, loss of data Third, data storage Fourth, business continuity Fifth, uptime Sixth, data integrity in cloud computing Question 31. Can you name some of the large cloud providers and databases? First, Google Big Table. Second, Amazon Simplet. Third, Cloud-based SQL. Question 32. Describe the different modes of software as a service, that is, SaaS. There are two modes in SaaS. First, simple multi-tenancy. This is an efficient model in which each user has an independent resource that is different from other users' mode. Second, fine-grained multi-tenancy. In this mode, the resources can be shared by many but the functionality remains the same. Question 33. What is the role of API in cloud services? Application Programming Interface, or API is useful in cloud platforms as First, it removes the need to write the fully fledged programs. Second, it provides the instructions to make communication between one or more applications. Third, it allows easy creation of applications, and then links the cloud services with other systems. Question 34. How many types of data centers are deployed for cloud computing? There are two different data centers in the cloud computing. First, containerized data centers. Second, low-density data centers. Question 35. Explain the different layers of cloud computing. The different layers of cloud computing are First, software as a service. This provides users access directly to the cloud application without installing anything on the system. Second, infrastructure as a service. It is for providing infrastructure for hardwares. Third, platform as a service. This provides a cloud application platform for the developers. Question 36. What is the importance of a platform as a service in cloud computing? Platform as a service is an essential layer in cloud computing, as it provides an application platform for the providers. Moreover, it is responsible for providing complete virtualization of the infrastructure layer, and makes it work like a single server. Question 37. Define the term cloud service? Cloud service is for building cloud applications using the server in a network through the internet. Moreover, it provides the facility of using the cloud application without installing it on the computer. Also, it reduces the maintenance and support of the application developed using cloud service. Question 38. Name the three basic clouds in cloud computing. First, professional cloud. Second, personal cloud. Third, performance cloud. Question 39. What are the resources provided by infrastructure as a service? Infrastructure as a service provides virtual and physical resources that helps in building a cloud. Moreover, it handles the complexities of deploying and maintaining the services provided by this layer. Question 40. Explain the business benefits in the cloud architecture. The benefits involved in cloud architecture are First, zero infrastructure investment. Second, just-in-time infrastructure. Third, more efficient resource utilization. Question 41. Describe the features of cloud architecture that separates it from traditional. First, the cloud architecture provides the hardware requirement. Second, Cloud architecture is capable of scaling the resource on demand. Third, cloud architecture is capable of managing and handling dynamic workloads without failure. Question 42. Explain the difference between elasticity and scalability in cloud computing. Scalability is for the increasing workload that can be handled by increasing in proportion the amount of resource capacity. Whereas, elasticity refers to the concept of commissioning and decommissioning of a large amount of resource capacity. Question 43. What are the different components in cloud architecture? The components include First, cloud ingress. Second, processor speed. Third, cloud storage services. Fourth, cloud provided services. Fifth, intra-cloud communications. Question 44. Can you list the different phases in cloud architecture? The different phases in cloud computing are First, launch phase. Second, monitor phase. Third, shutdown phase. Fourth, cleanup phase. 
Question 45, what are the basic characteristics of cloud computing? First, it is elastic, and scalable. Second, there is self-service provisioning, and automatic deprovisioning. Third, it has standardized interfaces. Fourth, it has a billing self-service based usage model. Question 46, describe the building blocks in the cloud architecture. The essential building blocks includes. First, reference architecture. Second, technical architecture. Third, deployment operation architecture. Question 47, what is performance cloud in cloud computing? A performance cloud is useful for transferring maximum amounts of data instantly. However, it is for professionals working on high performance computing research. Question 48, define hybrid and community cloud. Hybrid cloud is a combination of public and private cloud features that consist of multiple service providers. Community cloud is costly and only works when the organizations have common goals and requirements and are ready to share the benefits of the cloud service. Question 49, what are the optimizing strategies of cloud? There is a concept of three data centers in the cloud to overcome the maintenance cost and to optimize the resources. However, this provides recovery and backup in case of disaster or system failure and keeps all the data safe and intact. Question 50, define hypervisor in cloud computing and its types. Hypervisor refers to a virtual machine monitor that manages resources for virtual machines. However, there are two types of hypervisors. First, the guest VM runs directly over the host hardware. For example, Zen VMware SE. Second, the guest VM runs over hardware through a host OS. For example, KVM, Oracle VirtualBox. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.